the float. I love cutscenes. I know money isn't everything, you agree. And I find it hard to say this, but I've grown to respect many of you. You're a man of conviction. But it's my responsibility to point out the consequences of that way of thinking. Now, for you, winning is everything. But winning isn't something you could do alone. It requires excellent, or at the very least, competent coaching, contributing teammates, and God willing, good help. And we all know that's not a guarantee. Now, the reality is you're not in control of any of those other factors. But if you, as the star player, fail to win and deliver a championship, you will be held responsible. You will be scapegoated, you will be villainized, and you will be punished accordingly. So when you say to me that as a free agent, all you care about is being in the best position to win, I understand what you mean. But again, that's not only up to you. Now, I'm going to call my guy at Apollo Jets. I'm going to get us a private plane for this tour. I promise you, you're going to love the free agency experience. Now, your relationship with Vic has unfortunately cost us in some of these negotiations. We had 10 teams interested. We now only have three. But thankfully, thankfully, you wised up when it came to Vic. Have you been in contact with Vic? Yo, freak, look at me. He still has one of my cars, Dom. What did I tell you about the L word? The L word? What is Loyalty. Uh. I don't know what kind of hold this Vic has over you, but it makes me scared. You're a free agent for the first time in your career, and the only person you need to be loyal to is you. You need to be an FOF. You need to be a friend of freak. Let's forget about winning without appropriate compensation and loyalty that hasn't been earned and isn't deserved. This is a tough business, freak. We need to be tougher. Come on. CC? Woo! Lord Jesus, I was about to blow a gasket. Okay, freak. Now, there are very few options on the table, and I want you to explore them all before making your final decision. Whatever you decide, it needs to be an informed decision, not an emotional one. The larger the markets, the greater resources at your disposal, and exposure for you. But if you don't allocate these resources properly, then it's just a big spotlight on you as you lose. Well, thank you kindly, big sis. She's right, Freak. Thanks. Absolutely. Team Freak. That's what we're about. Oh, whoa, I don't know if I like this. What? Dom and CC high-fiving like this? I mean, yeah, why you guys so certain I'm gonna lose? Whoa, whoa, whoa. No one thinks you're going to lose. You guys sure sound like it. We just want you to select a franchise that has great coaching super talent exposure but most importantly a ton of cap space if the team doesn't win and you're to blame at least you won't be broke capiche please also you should make sure it's somewhere you want to raise a family but no pressure mm. <laughs> you guys have made this decision so much easier what did mom and dad say you know what they said i mean but honestly i'm torn i've heard and listened to what you've all had to say don't take this the wrong way to just one person i haven't heard from him that's big. Lord, help us. Yo, Vic, where you at? I've been trying to call you, man. Hit me back. Do you know him? He's probably somewhere too loud to hear his phone. I don't know. I think Vic's actually upset me. <laughs> Okay, so we're here with the free agency. Boston Celtics had 48% interested in me. Uh, let's see, I'm interested in the. Let's see, is that the Golden State? Uh, what's wrong? Uh, you know, I'm actually. The Clippers are looking neat. Uh, who's really struggling at a small forward? The Wizards are struggling at a small forward. The Bulls are good, but... Let's see, they don't have a small forward. So they got rid of Paul Pierce. So they can play... I'm going to say Los Angeles Clippers, Chicago Bulls, or Washington Wizards. Free agent offers. Let's see. Terry bringing 240. 
Let's see. Two years, 15 minutes. I'm actually liking the Bulls offer. 250 per game, 17 minutes, two years. But I would like to be... This starting is... Uh, this is hard. Uh, I want to be on the Clippers. But I don't know if, like, we can, like, I don't know. I might go to the Bulls. Oh, gosh. I really want to be on the Clippers, though. You know what? We, we definitely not, like, we're definitely not going there. Between the Clippers or the Bulls, and I think the Bulls have the best offer, but I think we can fit better with the Clippers. You know what? We're going to go to the Los Angeles Clippers. Savior, my family, my agent, Mr. Don Pagnotti, twin sister and manager, CC. Lady, thank you guys for all your support. I also like to thank all the fans, um, and all the people out there who consider themselves an FOF, friend of free. My free agency has been nothing short of amazing. And frankly, it has been a dream come true. But like most dreams, the reality is very different from what I imagined. Though I wouldn't change a thing, about this period and the time I spent in the NBA, I can honestly say that nothing has been more gratifying and more difficult choosing where to play next year. Without the wise counsel of my loved ones, nothing puts me at ease more than knowing that, regardless of my decision, you guys will be there for me no matter what. Now, there are so many wonderful teams in the league, each filled with stellar talent, all vying to be number one. For me, there's nothing more important than winning and surrounding myself with those who feel just as passionately about the game as I do and have an unrelenting desire to win a championship ring. That's what matters most to me. It is for this reason above all, I have decided to choose the Los Angeles Clippers. <laughs> There's been an accident. Look, we're going to need you to come down to the following address as soon as possible. What kind of accident? Put Vic on the phone. I can't do that, sir. No, no, no. You, you're not hearing me. I want to talk to Vic. Uh, look, sir, we need you to come down as soon as you can. No, no, no. Hey, hey, listen, 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 listen. Put down the phone, and I don't want to hear it get picked up until Victor Van Leer is on the phone. the phone. Put Vic on the phone. Mr. Freak, Mr. Van Leer was killed in a car accident. What's going on? Bang. The car he was driving was registered to you. We were able no. to identify him from the Listen flyer. Listen to me! Session. Freak, I don't want to talk to you no more! Freak, give me the phone. Hi, excuse me, hi, yes. This is Cece, this is Freak's manager. Who am I speaking with? Hi, yes, look, we're going to need somebody to come down and identify Mr. Van Leer. Uh, eyewitnesses say that he was involved in a car chase. Two cars were chasing him, and as the chase escalated, he eventually lost control and crashed. Look, I'm, I'm really sorry for your loss. Hello. Outside of the deceased, was anybody else in town? Vic died in a car accident. What? Yeah. They said he was in a car chase. I see. No. Freak, I'm sorry. <laughs> he died. Oh, I'm sorry. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.